Hi everybody, thanks for checking out this video here on G4G. Today's background soundtrack is brought to you by the It Follows movie soundtrack. Uh, known for being a fairly chiptune heavy soundtrack. This guy has also done work for the game Fez. Uh, which I have not played, but I recently watched It Follows, and it is a uh, fantastic American horror. Uh, there probably has not been a movie like this since The Descent, whereas Descent did have like a decent amount of jump scares in it and everything, but it was also very psychological. Um, it Follows is very good, and it's, it's different. So let's go ahead and jump into this. I'm not going to accept these because I haven't accepted the Spec Ops yet, which is what we have. Civil War 2 has started, and now remember folks, this is not going to be so the Civil War we're getting in the movies. This is the Civil War 2, which is a comic book series coming out in the middle of the summer. So, we have Urban Jungle Black Panther, and we have <coughs> the Tactician version. And as predicted, and as normal, the Tactician version is cheaper because that's what he is. And I believe this one looks very similar to the Panther's Bite sword. So, let's uh, see if we can go full screen over here and take a look at this stuff. And remember, it, 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 whoops... You actually have to load into uh, the very first mission in order to start working with the ISO. So click on your plane. Agent, we've got a difficult problem on our hands. The Inhumans have located a new member they're calling the Profiler. This person has the ability to synthesize data and extrapolate trends. Effectively a future predicting machine. Maximus the Mayor, Profiler's Interpreter, blah blah blah, Royal Family, Doctor Doom, Event, Exterminate, Inhumans, Stuff. So basically, it's like the fucking Minority Report over here. We just need Tom Cruise running. And we've got it. So, of course, the fight is that the Inhumans capture Doctor Doom, and there's people who agree with being predictive and then there's the anti-predictives. I want to predict me some lottery winnings. How about somebody do that? Fuck crimes. I'll show you a crime. Crime is me not winning the lottery. Somebody predict me a lottery. Of course I'd have to play it, but I'd play it if somebody predicted it to me. You see how that works? Alright. Oh god, there is a lot of plot on this one. I gotta slow down and read this a little bit. Oh, they're splitting up already. Wow. So, we can see one line of Iron Man, Rescue, Black Panther, Quake, and Pym. And some people backing up the royal family. Which seems to be in bed with Maximus. That's weird. And there's Captain Marvel, which is on the other side. Ah, the High Evolutionary is the big cause. We all know he's a pretty flaming jackass. And there he is. There's Wyndham. And what on earth is that? That is ugly as sin. Yikes. There's Ultron, and we've seen that look before. Oh, do we have a group boss? No, maybe? Do we? Are we going to get a Kang group boss? Probably not. Probably just a fourth mission like that Dracula one. But it'd be interesting if we do get a group boss. There, there is some need for silver. Okay, so first, uh, I'm going to go over to Los Timas. And I'm going to pull somebody out of the training closet that they got locked in. Get it? Locked in. Lock it. <laughs> More funnies. Okay, so, well, it, this is exactly where we wanted to be. Looks like Lady Thor is going to be a scrapper with really big metallic boobs. Okay. 
And what some people are calling Black Spider-Man. And Black Spider- Black Superman. So, Mighty Jane Foster, pretty balanced except for evasion because why need- why do you need to evade when fortunately you are mighty? Uh, she is an ambassador- ambassador to Asgard, so she gets the burning chill, poison, and radiation immunity. Charging energy gains an increasing damage buff whenever an electric attack is used. Consumed when Jane Foster performs an attack. Static pull. Chance to interrupt attacks made by enemies with static charge. Uh, electro. Uh, charging energy and static pull. That's all I need to see right there. Electro infesting the enemy team with electric attacks and everything. Just bang. Game Game over, man. Game over. What are we supposed to do now, huh? Yeah. That's, this is Electro by far. I mean, she's going to get some other ones. She's probably going to get a Thor's team up and maybe a Victor, but... Man, telling you. That Electro, yo. Hammer throw, charged attack, trigger static charge, and it causes static charge. Ooh, all allies get rising up. And crackling sh Man, Thor's is going to start crying now. Thoris is going to look at this and be like, man, she puts rising up on that? Nobody's going to use me anymore. <laughs> <sighs> shocking slam. All enemies get shocking development and a stun and home run. F finest hour and then shocking, which deals. So she's got an exploit with the finest hour. Let's go back a little bit and look at poor Thoris. Over here and see how he stands up to this. So. He, well okay. So he gets static charge and ozone with his crackling. So he applies. A, wow it's actually. It may be Thor's and Lady Thor who do it too. Double shield. Maybe we're going to need shield breaker again. Breakthrough. Crackle. All allies get right. Man, you can't mess with that. And what's weird about this one is this is not tagged as a buff. This is tagged as melee. So you can do some interesting things with this. Very, very interesting. Alright, so uh, here's Black Spider-Man. I did it again. Black Superman. Blue Marvel. Antimatter generator looks like Bishop's M generates antimatter per turn. So he's Nibbler from Fu from Futurama. Does he shit out like black matter? Again, no pun. That one I really just did not intend for a pun. That that is literally a reference to. <laughs> oh, that is a reference to Nibbler. I'm I'm really really sorry about that one. That that one I apologize. That one came out wrong, but. Yeah, that was a reference to Nibbler and the fact that he crapped black matter and shit, but it was too heavy to lift, so. Outwit. Chance to pre-counter attacks with disadvantage. So, are we saying that people who are disadvantaged get pre-countered? Interesting. No, okay. Good boy. Uh, I'm really very, very tired. Chance to pre-counter attacks with disadvantage, so he causes it when he does the pre-counter. Okay, so this is why Hafe has gotten nerfed. Um, this, along with Angrier and Cloak and Dagger stealing like his healing and, and cleansing thunder. This is why Hafe has been knocked down, because Playnom had a plan. And the plan was to just take bits of him and ship them out to other characters. Antimatter reduces damage and increases evasion. So does that mean he gets weaker as it goes along? But he gets more evasive? He's a generalist. Hmm. Antimatter uppercut. Causes three antimatter on him. I guess. Uh, I think that's a, a non-removable self buff. One enemy gets reduced potential, and he gives himself combat expertise. Okay, pretty cool. It's almost like he's turning himself into uh, our boy Bucky over there. Energy Bolt. 
one enemy, one round cooldown, so up every round, just can't spam it. Ranged and energy, good, so it's ranged. That'll help with the, the, uh, the drainers. Two antimatters on himself, it causes downgrade, in cap, and it gives himself epiphany. Whoa! We were just talking about iron- Oh my god! This is it! This is the X-Files conspiracy theory as to why Haif was nerfed into a cotton ball. It's a quick action, remove debuffs from all allies, and rising up on all allies. Oh my god, he's gonna be a cloak and dagger partner? He's gonna be a Thor's partner? Late, well, Lady Thor partner, really. Holy shit. This guy just put himself in the meta right here with that. Consumes all stacks of antimatter. But it doesn't say that it, like, does any... Okay, so it does all these things, but it's not saying that the antimatter does it. But it's a way of purging himself back to normal. An antimatter blast advantage deals additional damage to people who are disadvantaged. Uh, so people who live under bridges. Deadly crits, exploit shields, exploit stuns, finest hour, and ignore and defense. It's not a antimatter consumer. That would be an interesting twist if they gave you a big hit that consumes antimatter. As kind of a counter to antimatter manipulation, like a different thing you could do with it. Very interesting. So he's, I think he's writing himself into the meta. Uh, and he's got enough cooldowns that he might be re he might be played relatively smart, unless he just spams antimatter uppercut all day. But wow, very very interesting. Uh, we, we definitely have two meta-worthy characters right here. I mean, Shockfoil is gonna mess up Jane Thor a bit, but... Jathor? We'll call her Jathor. So there's, there's the split right there. Here's... Ah, oh, the epic boss is right in the first... Or no, it's... Well... No, the epic boss is probably going to be here. It's just weird that it listed two rewards like that. Dino Claw. Always active Dino Strike. Chance to perform a follow-up attack with Dino Claw. Uh, I just want to put this with my Isosaur Whisperer right now. Actually, because of bleeding? Yeah, it would go good with the Isosaur Whisperer. And it exploits bleeds, and it's a hemorrhage. Yeah! <laughs> This really goes well with the Isosaur Whisperer. I want the agent to get something really good that does shred. Like, give us something to put the bleed-ish effects on the non-bleeders. Like, give us a shred already. This could have been your opportunity, Playdom, but okay. Uh, yeah, I like the sound of this. I hope I get this. Panther's Blade. Kind of looks like... Yeah, it looks a little bit like it, less ornate than the older one. Eye of the Panther, Heart of the Panther, Jungle Combat. Wow, it's the same thing all over again, isn't it? I have to check that out. Just that, uh... It's not the Wakandan Rungu, that's the... The Shield one. Panther's Bite? No, that's a sword. Oh, hell. I don't remember the name of it. I know it. It's got the gold handle and the curved blade and everything. It's just, the name is escaping me. That's scary. That is a freaky looking thumbnail. I'm sure when the lock goes away, it's going to look a little bit better. But it looks like some crazy Japanese demonic jack-in-the-box. Good. So this is a charge future blaster looking thing. Temporal blaster. Exploits opportunity. Temp oh, well, there it is. It's temporal. Oh, okay. It's her. <laughs> it's, it's Jathor. But yeah, it looks a lot better with the lock being away. But 
still kind of creepy. Um, exploits opportunities, really, really nice, but a massive three-round cooldown. Chance to slip out of time and avoid an attack. So, a one-round buff for a three-round cooldown. It's, it's, it's okay. It'll go really well with the Scroll of Runeron. Um... Kind of think the cooldown is a little excessive for this weapon. Two would have been nicer. Greater bifurcator. Uh oh, oh, oh dear. All enemies end and energize and hit point. Oh my god. Cloak and dagger and despair and this. Cloak and dagger using the level two, putting out despair. Oh my god, the blaster blow-up teams. Oh. Oh, I'm really scared. Uh, my sphincter just crawled up into my ear somewhere. Oh, that's... I don't like that. Played on better do something about Fatal Finish before people start using the Bifurcator. To buy for Fatal Finish, Cater, Shrek their weight. Oh, that's going to be so bad. I don't like it. Don't like the implication of that one. Oh, I see why there are two rewards because of the double side. Yeah, yep, yeah, yeah, all right, that makes sense. Magic incantation ring, always active, gains increasing total damage when targeted by a magic attack. <laughs> oh, interesting. The worthy counter. There it is, folks. Just when you thought you were losing faith in play Dom, that the worthy were gonna run away with everything for season after season here is the thing that comes along that makes it risky to use angrier and the level two on curth and the meteor stacks and the lamp and the scroll oh dear oh and one enemy gets meteor swarm and bane wow so this is gonna be make for some interesting mirror matches this is pr kudos to you, Play Dom. Kudos indeed. You are finally doing something about this bastard orphanage of a worthy meta that you created. All these little dudes just running around with their toys out everywhere. And there's the Ultron arm that we heard about. Internal Bleeding, Ravage, and Incap. Vibranium Mystic Amplifier. Uh oh dear. Uh oh. This is my worst nightmare come true. What have I said every single time that our PvP item is a defensive item? Okay, kind of shit that we're dealing with another defensive item, but as long as it's not an offensive item, we're okay. And here it is. This is it, folks. This is... Oh, boy. That scares me. That really scares me for what's going to happen with Spit Lords and the like. Oh, the man, the next PvP season is going to be seriously fucked up. I really hope they don't drop a PvP quickly on this one. We need to get about like 15 days into the Spec Ops before we deal with PvP and begin the plan or just cower in the corners of our respective domiciles because this is going to be ridiculous. Chance to preemptively counter melee attacks. Chance to preemptively counter ranged. Oh my god, they're all special functionality. They're all like Cosmic Cardinals. Wow, you can run all three of these and spam a weapon. And if you had the ISOs too? If you ran like... Uh... Not a Fatal Finish, but you ran like... Snappy Service... The Hawkeye one, the Quicksilver one, um, the Blind Justice, and a, like a quick action, like the weather control device. 
interrupts for days. Daredevil? Sweats Devil? Wow. Uh, this is... This is game-changing right here. Absolutely game-changing. Let's see what we got here. Reduces ranged and melee damage by half. Wow. Chance to reduce ranged and melee damage to zero and immediately gain an extra turn. I wonder if that would interfere with his tactician turns, though. That's... That's really good for a bruiser. Um... Especially if you can make him tank, like with the new Spirit Blade, or... Uh, Phoenix doing a Mind Link. He might be really good with that last blade. Three round cooldown on this. Part of the Vibranium set. Paragon Exploiter and Seismic. Consumes all stacks of Seismic Activity. Obviously something's going to be creating the seismic activity somewhere along the line here, but... Oh dear, oh dear. Let's see about this mission's rewards. Vibranium Neural Disruptor. Kind of looks like Kang's old green and black shield. With any other two set pieces, the Vibranium Neural Disruptor also inflicts residual charge and fumbling to all enemies. Fumble Naya, Fumble Ruski, Fumble De Doo. Kang, going through space, fucking up timelines, Kangalaya, Kangaroony, Kangaroo. Exposed dizzy, disoriented. But not staggered. So that's a pressure point one. You know, it's funny. A lot of the other uh, temporal stuff that we've had before has worked on Opportunist. And this is working on Paragon. And an epic boss of Maximus. Again, that douchebag. Very, very interesting set. So what's the first task? Complete all Spec Ops 34 task. What? Oh, just to get Thor. <laughs> I was like, that's a hell of a first task over there. But all right. So there you go. That's how you can get uh, Jathor over there. Is just get all the 34 tasks. Now, we still don't have the counter going on over here. All right. Hold on. Let's... Let's hit play mission. Anti-predictive, pre-predictive. Aborting a mission will reset any progress on that mission patch. Mission path. Each path contains unique enemies and rewards. To encounter each variation, choose a different path. Alright, uh, we'll go towards Jathor. It's kind of like Wonder Man-ish to a certain degree. You know, in Marvel Future Fight, at some of the higher masteries and all, she actually gets pretty fucking badass. Ran into one in PvP today, and let's just say it was lightning for days. <laughs> Professor! I gotta tell you! On the day that you go back, you become a worthy... Complete five tasks to unlock Blueprint Vibranium Mystic Amplifier. Research it. Choose a side. Complete mission three. What? What? Ow. Okay, that's, that's a deep task over there. But how am I going to complete... Do I have to complete three missions? And then another four? Hopefully that, that has to be a typo and they mean one. But okay, now that I have the ISO counter over there. 
uh, we can go ahead and do our gifts. Which requires coming off a of full screen to do that. So now we can do the gifts. And they will go towards our existing total. Or messages. Yeah, I always do that. Okay. Send the Rooney for those who requested. Boopity boopity boom. Okay. Uh, that is the first look at Spec Ops 34 over here. And my god. This is going to be crazy. This is really, really going to be crazy at the end result of all of this. These heroes and this gear. You know, if people were wondering that we were getting the short end of the stick over here by not getting a tie-in to the movie, like all the other games did, I really think this may put that to bed. I really do. I think Play Dumb could be feeding us something pretty damn cool over here. But, you know, let's play it out and see. Thanks for checking out the video, folks. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace out.